from the side panel, we can navigate between the different pages of the app. So we have a compass clino, we have a notebook, we have a map, and we also have a Stereonet. It also allows us to access the project details page. We can add a new project, and on the project details page, we're then able to name the project, gives us information on when that project was created, and also the declination. Uh, the phone can calculate the de declination directly and then all readings are given in True North. To set up a stratigraphy we can just tap to add a rock unit and we can add multiple rock units. We can name those units, we can change the colour of those units and we can also reorder by a long tap on the left hand side. The other option we have is we can import uh, stratigraphy from a pre-existing file on the app and that will just load in the units that are already set up. In the settings page, so from the switch project page, you're able to change the angle convention from dip and azimuth to dip and strike using the right hand rule. You're also able to turn off location services and work offline with the app. We can export images as MB tiles and take them into the app as base maps. To do that, we can use a number of different programs. I'm gonna demonstrate how to do that from Move. So we select the georeferenced image, we right click, select export as, and export MB tile. The MB tile dialog box has options for setting the zoom level. This is very important um, for controlling how far in and out of the image you can scroll on the phone. In the written guide, there is some guidelines for zoom levels relative to pixel size and, and meter size. Um, good um, levels to go for is, is one that will allow you to zoom a long way out. And then a maximum zoom level of 17 is about a, a one meter zoom in level. Just press OK and that will allow us to save the image from move and that's now saved as an MB tile which we can import into the phone to use as a base map. Once the file is saved we can then go into iTunes and we can load that file into the app.